Hey, nerdy knitters. If you've ever been intrigued by a knit garment that you've seen on a television show or a movie, perhaps you've even paused and grabbed a quick snapshot, then we're going to look at something like that today. We're going to look at seasons three, four, and five of Outlander and some of the fabulous knitted garments that they have in that show. If you're a fan of the show or if you just like to see the way that knitted garments can be used in TV shows, then stick around for today's video. Before we dive in, I just want to say, hey, I'm Tanya here at Nerdy Knitting. I'm a certified knitting instructor and a knitwear designer, and my goal is to help you become a more confident, adventurous knitter. Now, with Outlander, I was going to make a video for every season, but when I got to season three, I realized that there just really wasn't that much knitting. So I started going through seasons three and four and five and saw that sometimes a lot of the same shawls and things were worn. So I figured I would just lump them all together in one video so we can just discuss everything that's happening. And with season three, there is a lot going on in the show. Claire is back in her own time period and we get a glimpse at the years that they spend apart before she discovers that, spoiler alert, he survived the Battle of Culloden. So after she finally makes it back to him and they have their reunion, of course they are thrown right into a new quest to rescue young Ian. But even with so much in the story going on, there's not so much in the hand knitting. But there are a few things. One garment I really liked was Claire's red cardigan that she wears as she and Brie and Roger are doing research into what happened to Jamie after Culloden. If you really like that pattern as well, then look at the I Found Him cardigan by Holly Yo. This is in the Outlander Knitting book. Now, Outlander Knitting is a great book if you're a fan of the show. There's lots of the classic garments, the, the Boar Hunt capelet, the rent shawl, lots of different things, plus things from the later seasons as well, like this cardigan. So if you're a big fan of the show, you might want to check out this book. Another really popular pattern from this season, which is hard to get a good picture of, was Jenny's shawl. It's just a garter stitch shawl, but it has that really pretty ruffly edge. And if you like that one, then look for Jenny's shawl by Knitsy Blonde on Etsy. It's just a simple garter stitch. It's worked tip to tip and then it has that ruffled edge. Then after that quick jaunt through season three, we have seasons four and five, and there's a lot of crossover. Things that are worn in season four are also worn in season five, which really makes sense. I mean, they're living in the backwoods of the Carolinas, then they're not gonna have a large variety of clothing to wear. They're gonna have a pretty small wardrobe. So they're settling into the new world. We have Brianna going through the stones and Roger following her. All of the mishaps and the crises that occur over those two seasons. Now, in these seasons, there's one thing we see a lot of, garter stitch shawls. And this is something that you don't even need a pattern to recreate as long as you know how to knit garter stitch. That's just knitting every row. And shaping the basic triangle shawl, you can knit it from the top down or the bottom up. I have videos for each of those that walk you through how to do that. You can really knit your own garter stitch triangle shawl. So if you're feeling adventurous, you can just try knitting your own shawl. But if you're looking for a little more handholding, then we're gonna look at some of the, the garments and also some pattern recommendations for each of them. First up is Claire's brown shawl and it has that interesting stripe detail in there as well. It's just simple garter stitch, but if you want a pattern for this, then check out the Carolina shawl from Handy Little Me which is a top-down triangle shawl and it has those stripes worked in at the edge just like Claire's shawl. And along with shawls, we see a lot of arm warmers in these seasons as well, like Claire's arm warmers right here, which do have a simple textured pattern. And if you like those, then check out the Carolina Fingerless Gloves from Handy Little Me, which are just a simple rib pattern with a hole for your thumb. We also have the return of some big bulky cowls. There's one that Brianna wears this season. And if you're interested to know more about the historical knitting, this isn't exactly historically accurate. We didn't have big, super bulky yarn and large needles to knit that yarn back at this time period, but we can still appreciate how pretty these knits are. But if you'd like to learn more about the historical accuracy, check out this video. If you like that cowl, then check out the Sassanac cowl from Highland Knits. But this one would also be easy to duplicate on your own. It's just garter stitch with big bulky yarn. Another popular garment that Brianna wore is her capelet. When this first aired, I remember seeing so many versions of this and people asking for this pattern. And if you'd like to reproduce this for yourself, then check out the original Brianna capelet by Tanya Babkin. This is actually from the TV show itself. This was the original design. And then we have Claire in another garter stitch shawl. This time it's in green with another shade of green along the edge. 
If you really like that one, then take a look at the Frasier's Ridge Shawl from Handy Little Me, which uses the top-down triangle shawl construction to create that shape. Now in this shot, we see Claire wearing some gray mitts. These are really pretty with that textured pattern. I couldn't find an exact replica for that, but if you like the basic structure of it, then this pattern here, the leaves fingerless gloves, sort of the same idea. Now there was a lot of talk about the end of season five because Claire goes through a truly horrible situation. I'm not going to talk about it here, but if you've watched the show, then you know what I'm talking about. But the very end of the final episode, she's wearing a beautiful blue cardigan while her and Jamie stand on the porch. And I remember reading lots of comments about that in the knitting groups and things like that, about the textured nature of that cardigan and if anybody could find a pattern for it. And again, handy little me to the rescue, Claire's blue cardigan, where she's taken the basic stitch pattern and created her own version of that with pockets and the long tunic length. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful garment. So you'll find links for all of these down below. I really encourage you to check out Handy Little Me. She has a lot of Outlander inspired knits. So if you really like this show, then you'll want to check out her website, as well as two different books, Highland Knits and Outlander Knitting, both filled with lots of great Outlander knitting patterns. If you have a recommendation for an Outlander inspired knit, please leave a comment down below telling me about it. And if you're looking for more recommendations, be sure to go check out those comments and see what everybody else is talking about. If you're looking for more Outlander inspired knits, be sure to check out this video right here.